Hey, welcome to Mojo Grip. Mike here. Today we're gonna check out some really cool ultralight airplanes. Ultralight is what we call them in Europe, uh, but here in the United States they're referred to as light sport aircraft. When you think of light sport aircraft, these are airplanes that are generally smaller in size and they're very light and they also have some limitations, but these airplanes are the perfect entry into aviation because they're cheaper to fly, they're cheaper to own, uh, and they're cheaper to maintain. Generally, these airplanes are meant for recreational purposes, meaning you fly them on your days off, but these airplanes are also very capable cross-country airplanes. And typically, the price range from $100,000 to $200,000, on average $150,000. And one thing these airplanes have in common is that they all run on a Rotax 100 horsepower engine. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first airplane on the list today is the Bristel. The Bristel is a gorgeous small two-seater airplane uh, designed by Bristel. His name is actually Bristella, Milan Bristella from the Czech Republic. And this airplane has only been around since 2011. As a matter of fact, they recently sold their 300th uh, airplane. So you have at least 300 of these flying in the sky today. That's an awesome milestone for a company that's only been around seven or eight years. The Bristel actually comes in three different versions. Uh, you have the TDO where you have a tail dragger, you have your normal tricycle, and then you also have retractables. But again, because of certification here in the United States, we only have tricycle gears uh, for LSA aircraft in the US. And this airplane will cost you anywhere from 120,000 uh, base to roughly a hundred and eighty to two hundred thousand dollars fully loaded. That's brand new You can easily get used one or fairly used one for around 120 or 150 thousand as a matter of fact You can even get some new ones for around a hundred and fifty thousand dollars What you're getting is a sweet ride comes with a road tax hundred horsepower engine You're cruising around between 90 and 110 uh, not these are typical airspeed for again LSA aircraft. So you're cruising around 90 to 110 But what's beautiful also about this aircraft is your stall speed is only at 31 knots For you to fly that slow is incredible So I will consider it a very forgiving airplane and also LSA aircraft like the Bristel does have the option to have a parachute on board uh, but it's always up to the customer if they want one or not. The Bristel also boasts one of the widest cabin in the LSA category, if not the widest cabin in that category. Inside that cockpit, you're looking at about 51 inches from left to right, which is pretty wide. That's pretty wide. A lot of these airplanes are smaller in size and they're even tighter on the inside, but not the Bristel. You are filled with comfort in this airplane. One more cool thing you should know about Bristel is that this company is one of the first to test the new Rotax 915 engine. And this engine is supposed to give you better performance, better climb rate, better speed. Uh, and they released the numbers. They're actually the first company to release some type of numbers for the Rotax 915, which I'm personally excited about. And with their numbers, with this particular airplane, um, you have climb rate of over 2,000 feet a minute. And then you also have 20 or 30 knots added to the normal cruise speed. Again, your general LSA, you have a speed limit of around 120 knots. And with the Rotax 915, you're looking at an additional 20 to 30 knots cruise speed, which is amazing. The downside is when you go above 120 knots in any of these airplanes, then it's not considered LSA anymore. You have to move into a different category uh, of airplanes. And my guess is you'd probably move into either a certified or an experimental airplane. 
so that is it for the Bristel. It's an amazing airplane, very good looking airplane. And you have at least 300 of them flying in the skies today. A lot of them here in the United States. I wish we had more options with tail draggers and the retractable gear, but the tricycle works just as fine. Next airplane on the list is called the Sports Cruiser. Also from the Czech Republic, this airplane actually has been around for the longest when you think of LSA, at least in the United States. These are one of the first airplanes that I saw in the US uh, that's considered a light sport aircraft. And the Sports Cruiser, again, you have similar numbers to other LSAs. Normal cruise speed is between 90, 110, with a speed limit of 120 knots. It uses a Rotax 912, and you have currently over 600 of these airplanes flying in the skies today. Uh, it's a well-known airplane, specifically in flight schools. When you go to certain flight schools, you would see uh, the sports cruiser as some of the trainers. And this is a really good training airplane, either for a sports pilot or a private pilot license. It's a very nimble and very forgiving airplane. Now, in terms of price, Again, the price, very similar to other LSAs, you're looking at $150,000 brand new. Now, if you opt in for additional equipment or additional features, you're probably gonna add 20 to $30,000 more to your price. One thing I should mention about the Sports Cruiser is you have a lot of used ones in the market, but if you check out the newest models, the newest models, the interior space, my God, I can kiss them. I can kiss them with this gorgeous new interior space. It looks more sporty, it looks more comforting to me. The newest ones, you have leather seating, at least as an option, and also just the, the cockpit looks so much better. You have a nice glass cockpit, which I'm sure will cost you a little extra, but nevertheless, this is a gorgeous airplane. And again, you have a lot of them flying in the sky. So if you were to buy one of these today, maintenance costs would not be so much because you have uh, a lot flying in the skies and that means you have mechanics that have worked on this over time. If you have $150,000 sitting around, definitely check out the Sports Cruiser. Number three on the list is called the Technum Astore. Now, this airplane, I feel like has been lost in the crowd, and it's actually, to me, one of the best design airplane in the LSA market, if not the best. For one, I personally love the sliding doors, and Technum, they know how to build airplanes in the sense that when you look at the cabin space, again, I'm a huge fan of really nice interior, and Technum, always, with all of their airplanes, they take their time, and putting together a nice, comfortable interior for you to be in. Now, this story is no different. Now, unlike the other LSA that I've mentioned in this video, the Technum also does have a Rotax engine, but you have an option to upgrade. If you wanted better performance, you can always upgrade to a Rotax 914 engine where you get a little bit more horsepower. Price for the Astore, Again, around your ballpark, $150,000. Fully loaded, you're looking at closer to 200, around 180-ish. And this airplane, to me, already comes very clean and very well built from the base version. You probably don't need a lot. Uh, things that could cost you more is maybe if you get a glass cockpit and things like that. But in terms of your performance, you're gonna get the average, you're cruising around 90 to 110. One thing I should point out about the Astora is you have just a little bit more uh, max speed on this airplane. The max cruise speed for the Technum Astora is 124 knots. And that also increases your stall speed as well. So again, when you think of how fast an airplane goes, you also have to take into account how slow the airplane can go. At 39 knots, that's still an awesome stall speed for the average pilot. So, if you're in the market for a light sport, definitely, definitely check out this story. Uh, again, for me, it's actually one of the most beautiful LSAs out there. Barely talked about, I don't know how many of them are flying today, but it's worth checking out. It's a beautiful, beautiful airplane. Number four on the list is the Sling 2. 
If you know anything about me, you know I have a thing for the Sling Airplane. I reviewed the Sling 4 a while ago, and the Sling 2 is no different in terms of the build and the finish on this airplane. Now the Sling 2 is the airplane's factory version of LSA airplanes. Generally, you would get the normal Rotax 912 engine, and your cruise speed again is between 90 and 110 knots. Your max cruise speed is 120 knots. Now the things you should look out for in the Sling 2 is one, the design also has the sliding door, which I appreciate. I like the sliding door rather than the latch where you open the canopy. And this airplane has one of the best ranges, meaning you can fly it for longer. You're only burning around 3.8 gallons per hour, cruising at 120 knots. So you get a little over 800 nautical miles in terms of range. Now, I don't know anyone who would sit in the airplane for that long. I personally wouldn't, but still, you have that option there for you if you need. And the airplane factory does include the ballistic parachute in these airplanes. If you were to buy the Sling 2 or the Sling 4 today, that's part of your price. The price you pay today for the Sling, that parachute is already included in your price. And also, the Sling is one of the most affordable LSAs in the market. Uh, the others that I've mentioned, you're looking at $150,000 to $200,000. With the Sling 2, you're looking at $120,000. $120, that's it, $120,000. Now, if you wanted like a glass cockpit or a little bit more features, you're probably spending maybe $130,000ish, $140,000ish. You're still spending less than $150,000. For your average sling too and it's a beautiful airplane with great performance again i've personally seen this airplane in person i've looked at it i've checked it out so i can definitely vouch for it and a great option with the sling is that you can either buy the airplane as an lsa meaning it's certified as lsa and it's factory built which will cost you a little bit more or you can opt in and get the kit and build yourself Sling does have a build assist program, so you can always you go through their program and put as many features as you want in your own airplane. And going that route will probably cost you a little bit less, um, depending on what you put in the airplane. So you do have that option where you can build it as a kit airplane, or you can buy it ready built as an LSA airplane. Again, price point, you're looking at $120,000, $130,000, brand new, not used, brand new $120,000, $130,000. The last airplane on the list today is called the Black Wing Sweden. Now, this particular airplane sadly is not available in the US market. Hopefully, one day in the future, they'll bring it to the United States, but right now, it's, a, it's considered an ultra light and only sold in Europe. Okay, and some other parts of the world, but definitely not in the US. The Blackwing, I've been following it now for a few months, and it's a fairly new design, a fairly new airplane, but the performance on this thing blows away literally every other airplane that I've listed on the list so far. Now, let's go through it. You have a cruise speed for the fixed gear, Actually, before I get into the performance, the Blackwing does have two options. You can get it as fixed gear, where you get your normal tricycle three uh, gear, and then you also have retractables, where the, the gear is folding and you get a little bit more speed. Now, here are the performance numbers, and we're gonna focus on the fixed gear here because that's what we, we consider LSA. Once you go into a retractable, then you're going into a different category. But this video is about LSAs. Now with the fixed gear, you're looking at a cruise speed of 136 knots, and you're only burning four to five gallons per hour, okay, with that speed. Your never exceeding speed is 216 knots. It's amazing that a small body or small airplane can achieve that kind of speed to me, okay? And your stall speed is right in the same average as any other LSA out there. You're looking at a stall speed of only 35 knots. So this is an airplane that you can fly really fast and also fly really slow. That is a great accomplishment uh, by Blackwing. And this airplane climbs at over a thousand feet per minute. 
according to Blackwing, you can fly this thing and your climb rate is 1500 feet a minute. Now the price, unfortunately I don't have exact numbers for the price, but what it's selling for in Europe right now, you're probably looking at around $200,000 if this airplane was selling in the US market today. But outside of the price, I've already mentioned the performance. Oh, and these performance numbers are still within the same engine. This airplane uses a Rotax 912, okay? And you're able to pull out those great numbers from a Rotax 912, only 100 horsepower that gives you those type of margins. Now, design-wise, I think the Blackwing is so good looking. I mean, look at this airplane. And what I love about the airplane is they're not going with the typical just wide and some stripes with the paint color. Also, look at the interior space. Not bad. Your cockpit looks good. Uh, the seats look thin. Uh, and I've asked them right around and they tell me it's very comfortable, although it looks thinner to the eyes. But still, it looks very comfortable in that cabin. Uh, you do have your... Uh, latch doors meaning the canopy opens up it's not a sliding door but who cares again this airplane currently is not yet in the u.s market i don't know if it's ever going to be uh, available in the u.s but it's definitely selling right now in europe and it's a gorgeous looking airplane so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up if there's a particular airplane that is not on the list that you want me to check out leave in the comments below and let me know again thanks so much for spending time with me again my name is mike and until next video guys take care and i'll catch you on the next one peace